Several Marylanders are facing felony charges accused of storming the Capitol that day. WJC investigator Mike Helgen is live at Baltimore's federal courthouse with an update on their legal strategy tonight. Mike. Vic, some of these defendants remain jailed. They are fighting for their freedom. And increasingly in legal filings, they're blaming former President Trump for their alleged actions that day. The harrowing new video released during the impeachment trial shows the danger lawmakers and police were up against during the Capitol riot. At least eight Marylanders are now facing charges, including Matthew Miller, a 22-year-old from Howard County, who federal prosecutors say sprayed a fire extinguisher on the steps of the Capitol and scaled the walls while draped in a Maryland flag. Matthew was at the, at the rally to protest, to exert his First Amendment rights. His lawyer tells CNN the former Glen Elg High student was young, impressionable, and caught up in the moment. And in new court filings, claims Miller was merely following the directions of then-President Trump. The country's chief law enforcement officer. The only reason any of those people went to the Capitol to storm it and to do whatever they did there was because Trump demanded it, Trump asked for it, and Trump wanted it. You can't get away from that. Emmanuel Jackson from Prince George's County is accused of beating officers with a baseball bat. That day, he said he was not instigated by the president. But it's America. I'm not here for Trump. I'm here for America. But his lawyer now says what happened was inspired by Mr. Trump. Jackson and Miller remain jailed. We brought up the Trump uh, incitement to, to this rebellion because it was relevant to whether or not my client can get out. Now, as to why my client went there, obviously he was there with the crowds. We can't get away from that. Uh, he was there to, as I said, to protest what he thought was a stolen election at the request of the president of the United States. And when they stopped, he stopped. When Trump said stop, they stopped and they all went home. Among the other Maryland defendants is a self-professed white supremacist from Baltimore County and a man from Hartford County who fled from police with a loaded weapon on Capitol grounds. Those are the charges he faces. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ.